What's crazy is that this space that we've <laughs> that we've this entered, crazy. right? We started with the the verses and the songs that people probably weren't mm-hmm. paying much attention to. Right. That had really, really dope bars, the you know, the biggie joints from Ingus Bleed, mm-hmm. you know, to the ghost face verse on Impossible. Right. And and big amount with with Drake and, and two chains and all you know all the classic joints even where we started party yeah. and bullshit and then of course that stuff started to come out when J Cole drops a, a verse of the year or you know who, who else well, we God did God did all, right like, uh, it shuts the shuts the world yeah, down for a second down. so but this space that we that we chose to be in you know it's it's bigging up and it's saluting right. Absolutely. And not many people understood when we when we started that everything was about saluting. Right. And as this new stuff drops, it puts us in more of a breakdown space. But at the same time, we're giving opinions on the stuff that's dropping. The new stuff. Yeah, the new stuff. Because it's not a unanimous, no ball. Yo, this is the craziest verse ever. Now it's kind of like people are like, yo, what y'all think? Because other people are breaking this down the way y'all break down stuff. When that happens, no, nah, we're we not complaining. I'm just giving people. Nigga, a... I'm complaining. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. But go ahead. Never mind. <laughs> nah, because I wanna. I wanna. People don't. You know, they just understand that they're here to rock with us, and we gotta be appreciative of that. So, we appreciate y'all for being here, man. Yeah. Um. So we're gonna keep this going. If you saw the family matters. That was basically our thoughts on that joint, right? Right. And we understand this battle is ongoing. So more and more stuff is coming out. And we're not trying to keep up with the the cycle of reactors and breakdowners and everybody that's doing what they do because I'm, my whole soliloquy in the beginning was trying to give you background on how this show started True. and what we've evolved to. So with that said, we took a couple of, time, a couple of days to sit with um, – Meet the Grams, only a day a maybe. Day. <laughs> I can't Basically, say a couple yeah. days. <laughs> Normally we would take more time, but we know as stuff is coming out, um, we gotta keep we gotta keep up with it. But this this one particularly, I think the reason we're talking about it is because we wanted more jugular action, right? right. We wanted more scathing. Uh, Rip his head off. Yeah, we were kind of <laughs> we we wanted that. And we didn't know what we were asking for. Right. Yeah. And yeah. Then we got this. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Adonis, I'm sorry that that man is your father. Let me be honest. It takes a man to be a man. Your dad is not responsive. I look at him and wish your grandpa would a world condom. I'm sorry that you gotta grow up and then stand behind them. Life is hard, I know. The challenges always go beat us home. Sometimes our parents make mistakes that affect us until we grown. And hey, you're a good kid that need good leadership. Let me be your mentor, since your daddy don't teach you shit. Never let a man piss on your leg, son. Either you die right there or pop that man in the head, son. Never fall in the escort business, that's bad religion. Please remember, you could be a bitch even if you got bitches. Never code switch, whether right or wrong. You're a black man even if it don't benefit your goals do some push-ups get some discipline don't cut them corners like your daddy did fuck what ozempic did don't pay to play with them brazilians get a gym membership understand no throwing rocks and hiding hands that's law don't be ashamed about who you with that's how he treats your moms don't have a kid to hide a kid to hide again be sure five percent will comprehend but 95 is lost be proud of who you are your strength come from within a lot of superstars that's real but your daddy ain't one of them and you nothing like him you'll carry yourself as king can't understand me right now just play this when you 18. we wanted more <laughs> depth we wanted more we wanted more of basically something that was scientifically methodically surgically going at the the opponent right yeah so he slowed it down yeah. and he gave you this. Yeah. What do you what do you think so far? What are your lines that stand out? Um before I get to that. Okay. Looking at this battle, I see that there's there's 
two different approaches. I get there two different artists. Um, and I feel I felt like like I couldn't find the words to explain like how Drake is making probably like songs that maybe sound better, but in terms of like the things that he's saying, in terms of this being a battle, they aren't like really career ending, scathing type no. of things, you know? Yeah. Um but to that same point, I felt like Kendrick's approach was more tactical, surgical, and the way he wanted to approach mm-hmm. Drake as a person. And I seen a tweet by the great Elliot Wilson earlier today that said, and it was it was a perfect explanation for what it is. Yeah. Drake is being dismissive of Kendrick while Kendrick is dissecting Drake. Okay. And that's what the difference is. Like, Drake is yeah. treating it like Kendrick, somebody that's not on his level, he's not your equal, I'm going to just dismiss him, he's nobody, he's this, he's that. But Kendrick is taking it, like, taking him apart, like, as a mm. person. Like, okay. not even, this isn't this ain't even about rap anymore. Like, it just as a person, no, as this a is, man. No, this is human. You're just, a, you're just a terrible human. Yeah. And that's stuff that you can't out-rap your way out of. And I felt like he, like, I felt like his whole approach, he's been cutting off his angles, like, yeah, you can't keep saying I do this because I've, I've said that before. You can't keep saying, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, I feel like he's been cutting off his angles, like making the room smaller. Yeah. And to take the approach of writing your child a letter apologizing for why you're his father is fucking crazy. Yeah, this is no bang. This is, psychopath- <laughs> this is psychopathy at his best right here. Yeah. Because to say I look at him and wish your grandpa would have wore a condom, like, it's still not even about you as a kid. This is about your father's horrible. Like, this shit is, I'm sorry that you got to grow up and then stand behind him. Like, just as a kid, like, as a son, you got to stand behind Like, this shit is, this shit is almost psychological warfare right here, man. I wonder how we got here. Like, I And wonder, this is what I'm trying to figure out. Like, yeah. this shit is like a real genuine dislike for a person. Yeah, you can, you can, you can smell the disdain and yeah. the, the contempt. But I wonder how we got here. Because it's not, this doesn't sound like I just watched you from afar. Yeah. And just dislike you and, yeah. and how you move. It's like I've got some type of experience, especially with Kendrick being on a Drake album mm-hmm. <clears throat> and them having, you and know, them having worked together on some, several occasions. Yeah, to have some type of kinship at, at one point. I don't know. It's it's um, it's it's really it's really interesting when I think about how we got here. Mm. But I, I definitely feel like he doesn't. He has no like for him as a person. Like zero. And this is something I would have done. I would I would have definitely wrote a letter to somebody's son. I would have went. And this is turning the knife now. Like yeah. this is not. I'm not. I'm not. This ain't about likes. This ain't about yeah. being in the club. This ain't about trying to find nothing that bop. This is. Yeah. I'm attacking you as a a person as a man. Yeah. And his rhyming words have simplified. I think the way he started um, Euphoria, mm-hmm. he was him. He was himself with right. The, the the lyricism and the you know the polysyllabic words. Mm-hmm. This one he kind of you know he kind of went backwards. He kind of just even had some stuff that didn't rhyme when he threw the push ups in there. Yeah, and um, you know what he said? Don't have a kid to hide a kid to hide a kid hide again. Listen, it's it's more just kind of like I it's, it feels like a real letter. Like he really has some things to say. To say, and you're a good kid that need good leadership. Let me be your mentor since your daddy don't teach you shit. That was the line that's I was thinking of. Cr- like, yeah, what? and it's and it's really simple. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's this. That's something that man, uh, it, yeah, average rapper would have put leadership and teach you shit together. But in this in this sense, it's it's it sounds real. Like it sounds like he it really means it. Yeah. And the whole never let a man piss on your leg, son. Um, that whole. And, yeah, yeah I, that's still a T.I. scenario. <laughs> T.I.'s <laughs> like, man pissing on um Drake's leg in the movie theater. He's a little he does drunk. Nothing. Yeah, I don't I don't know the whole scenario yeah. with that. Um but he said either you die right there or pop that man in the head, son. That's a you know, that's an interesting um a take re- on it, right? <laughs> <laughs> like those are interesting <laughs> those options. Those are the two <laughs> options. <laughs> so those are interesting you options. On your leg. Either you so, just dismiss your life listen, or he or dies. Kill him. Yeah. If um, he dies. He dies. But I get the analogy. It's like you put yourself in a position where you don't necessarily have to die or kill, but don't be a pussy. Don't yeah, don't do nothing. Don't do nothing. Don't do nothing. Yeah. Right. So I, I get that. Man. Um 
<laughs> this is never cold switch, whether right or wrong. You a black. Listen, don't cut them corners like your daddy did. Fuck what Ozempic did. Listen, man. But it's that a whole lot of Ozempic talk. It's, yeah, it's a whole Christ. lot of Ozempic talk. This is crazy. But that whole um, what was it? Um, understand no throwing rocks and hiding hands. That's law. Don't be ashamed about who you with. That's how he treat your moms. I'm like, wow. Son, that's that's yeah. That's not even dissing at this point. Yeah, that's what I said. He sacrificed. This shit is he sacrificed all that. This shit is he just sacrificed personal Rom's and scheme. like he sacrificed. Listen. Um he sacrificed a lot just to say some really hurtful things. Don't be ashamed about who he don't be ashamed about who you with. That's how he treat your moms. Yeah, that's this is this is kind of what we asked for Listen. in terms of like just going at him. But again, Listen. I I expected more of the rap angle in terms mm-hmm. of you do this, you don't do this. Like right. like more like I expected Drake to do more of the you rap like you trying to get the slaves free. Right. You know, more of that you're confusing how I guess how Jay came at Nas, like just right. cause People don't understand. Don't, be, don't mean don't that mean he's that, nice. Don't mean that he's nice, right? You know, and Kendrick to come with the you don't have a classic album. You got a lot of pop songs. Mm-hmm. Like you're not really a true artist, or MC, right. whatever, whatever. All the things going here. It's a sign of the times we're in. Yeah, you know. Yeah, it, it's, it's it's where Cole probably predicted it would go because, and that's why he bowed out. Yeah, how long can you really rap about being better how than nice somebody? Yeah, you know what I'm how, saying. How many, how many times can you do that? How many how different many ways times can you, can you do, that? do that? How many different ways can you do that? And in this era, who cares? Yeah, at this point, <laughs> right? Know, at this point, we all for shock and awe. Now it's, it's all about it's, clicks and uh, likes. TikTok, and yeah, that's IG, it. you know, microwave. The crazy society. shit you can say. Exactly. Which is why I found it. Well, not interesting, but you know. I found it interesting that this was Kendrick's angle, but Drake went the opposite way with all of the the constant memes and the constant picks to a story. Yeah, and like yeah, you know what I mean? He yeah. he went that angle. I felt like he took the battle to IG and yeah. really didn't keep it in the booth and about your skills and you know what I mean it, it, you yeah. went digging for dirt trying to find another angle in it. Yeah. yeah. Hope nobody dies. Okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Dear Sandra, your son got some habits, I hope you don't undermine them. Especially with all the girls that's hurt inside this climate. You a woman, so you know how it feels to be in alignment. With emotion, hoping a man can see you and not be blinded. Dear Dennis, you gave birth to a master manipulator. Even using you to prove who he is is a huge favor. I think you should ask for more paper, and more paper, and more, uh, more paper. I'm blaming you for all his gambling addictions, psychopath intuition, the man that like to play victim. You raised a horrible fucking person. The nerve of you, Dennis. Sandra, sit down. What I'm about to say is heavy. Now listen. <clears throat> Your son's a sick man with sick thoughts. I think niggas like him should die. Him and Weinstein should get fucked up in a cell for the rest of their life. He hates black women. Hypersexualize him with kinks of a nympho fetish. Grew facial hair because he understood being the beard just fit him better. He got sex offenders on Hovio that he keep on a monthly allowance. And a child should never be compromised and he keeping his child around him. And we gotta raise our daughters knowing there's predators like him lurking fuck a rap battle he should die so all of these women can live with a purpose i've been in this industry 12 years i'ma tell y'all one little secret there's some weird shit going on and some of these artists be here to police it they be streamlining victims all inside of their home and calling them tender then leak videos set themselves to further push their agendas to any woman that be playing this music know that you're playing your sister or better yet selling your niece to the weirdos not the good ones cat whims i gave you the truth so i'ma get mines the embassy about to get raided too it's only a matter of time Hey, Lil' Bron, keep the family away. Hey, Curry, keep the family away. To anybody that embody the love for their kids, keep the family away. They looking at you, too, if you standing by him. Keep the family away. I'm looking to shoot through any pervert that lives. Keep the family safe. This got dark. This got really dark. Yeah, this is... What's we'll uh, the lights out? <laughs> like, yeah. This got really dark, Yeah, man. this is... um. Listen. I, I mean, I, I'm all for writing letters to people's parents and telling them how bad they were at parents. Yeah. Um, for for raising these this this these children, but yo, um, this is this is filleting like this is cutting the fish completely open and like yeah, this is an autopsy basically almost. Yeah, it it comes off. Um, I, I don't know, man. 
it doesn't make it's not entertaining in the fact that I want to like bop my head or right. play it more than once, but it it is feeding everything we talked about in terms of the need for clicks, likes, mm-hmm. hate, all of the things. Like it's it's polarizing. It's it's definitely hey, 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 yeah hey, 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 hey. <laughs> right <laughs> to say that you gave birth to a master manipulator. Um, Even using you to prove who he is is a huge favor. And, and that line right there, again, I think he sacrificed rhyme scheme a lot in this. Listen. Just rhyming cer- certain words, you know, saying right. things like him should die, sell for the rest of their life. Like that, normally he he makes a conscious effort to do better to do, uh-huh. and with his rhyming words. This one, he kind of just Listen. ain't care. But the master manipulator line, that's Man. that's big. Listen, right? Because you set that up to tell Dennis he's actually using you too. Yeah, like even using you to prove who he is. Right, is a huge favor. It's a it's a huge. That's favor. like that's like that's because and he'll go back to that later. Like you weren't around growing up, right. so right. Like even you being around now is kind of helping him. Just the whole black card, like what you know, just seeing who Dennis is with with like the oh, music I saw his father really is black. Oh, okay, yeah, he has a little yeah, more yeah. credibility now. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it was like the hill. You think about the Houston, Atlanta, Vegas song, right? Right, and I'm like, what does he know about Houston, Atlanta, Vegas? And then kind of like leans into his life, you yeah. know, with his dad or whatever. It's it's just interesting, man. Listen, I think man. that you know, he, you should ask for more paper, more paper. Like as as repetitive as that line is, it makes you think, like yo. This dude is really using his black dad to like to validate like validate his blackness. Black. Like all of a sudden, you're spending time in Memphis now, and, right? You but, know what I mean. But you got a video with your bar mitzvah, like you're, yeah. So again, it, but again, it is what it is. It is what it is. But again, this is him pulling the veil down, stripping you down as Aubrey Graham. Yeah. Which is why the title Meet the Grams is perfect. And again, you if you think about it, the whole OVO mold situation doesn't make sense in that the timing of this release was absolutely brilliant. The fact that you dropped this shit, you didn't even give uh uh what's the other what what was Drake joint? Um which one? Six sixteen? The last one. Oh, the uh, Family Matters? Yeah. yeah he didn't give Family Matters about an hour to breathe. Yeah, nah, he was on it. Oh. But then for his to be Family Matters and for his to be Meet the Grams, yeah. I don't think- it made, it made it sound like he uh, wrote it right at, like the, the brilliance and the times that we're in, you know, this records back in the days, you took a lot of time to get it pressed up, to get it, you had to go to the radio, something. You had to make, something had to happen. Right. Like, it, took, it took a little time. To get to the people. And now Listen. you can just- he could have literally heard that, wrote this, recorded it, got it out. And that would have been it. In 20 minutes. Like, Son. you know what I'm saying? Especially if he, if he has some of these lines. But um, it's interesting referencing those old songs where you might say you want to kill somebody or something like mm-hmm. that. You know, grab your Glocks if you see Tupac. And here he's saying, I think, I think it's like him should die. Should die. Right? It's, it's not that direct, I will kill him. Right. But it's like, I think he should die. And that's just that's just an interesting just way. A, a, not only is it an interesting way, but it leaves the door open to why do you think like that? Yeah. Not like I want him to die, because then that's a that's a direct feeling. Like I just want him to die. You don't have to explain. Yeah, it. absolutely. Like, I think he should. That like, leaves your mind and be like, well, yeah. man, why you or think I would he kill him. Die? Right. Yeah. You're like, well, why the hell do you think he should die? But to say, like to precursor that with Sandra, sit down. Oh yeah. What I'm about to say is heavy. Yeah. Like yeah. <laughs> and again, this when you think about it, this is what Drake was trying to get across as the pet talk with Pop and Snoop like trying to talk Kendrick into battling. Yeah. He's acting like like this this verse sounds like he's having an actual conversation with them. This like it, well, I wouldn't yeah. even say a conversation, a monologue with them. Yeah. And like he's actually sitting them down talking to him because for you to like be talking to Dennis and then stop and say, Sandra, sit down. Because what I'm about to tell you, like, yeah. it's almost like he's present and all of them are present. So this just sounds like they're in a room together. Yeah. Man. 
Yeah, it just it just changed the whole vibe of of the joint. Just saying he hates black women, hypersexualizes them with kinks of an info fetish. Um, reminds me of Nas, you know, telling Jay, you know, you always dissing women, mm-hmm. you know, which you heard as a child, scared to smile, yeah, and call you, you ugly, ugly. like uh-huh. all of those things. And uh, it makes you just think about a big pimping video. It makes you think about a Drake video. Like, man, yeah. you are hyper, you do hypersexualize women. This grew facial hair because he understood being a beard just, just fit, him, fit better. him better. Now that's a whole nother lane to call somebody a beard. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I don't, I don't know where he's going with that. <sighs> but yeah, I listen, man. He got sex offenders on OVO. He got sex offenders on OVO that he keep on a monthly allowance. Hovio. Hovio. A child should never be compromised and he keeping his child around him. And we got to raise daughters knowing there's predators like him lurking. Fuck a rap battle. He should die so all of these women can live with a purpose. Listen, man. This is the second time he said this man should, should die. Yeah. And it's adding weight to the feelings behind Listen. the songs. Yeah. I don't feel like any other battle, even where there was threats, anybody wanted someone Somebody to, to die to pass away. Nope. I, I can't remember Listen. any anything. I can't either. I'm trying to think of the adult. <laughs> yeah, I can't either. The fifty and, and fat Joe, like I yeah. I mean, even there was a lot of gun talk in the songs, but nothing like I want the yeah. I wanna kill this I want this nigga out of here. <laughs> nah, I feel like this the CNN and, and Junior Mafia might have got a little violent, but listen. Maybe even, Lynch Mob and NWA, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe something. And we're not and we're not talking about the drill music, by the way, because we know how those yeah, those, how those end. Things end. Um <laughs> We know we're not talking about those type of joints, but yeah, I, I just feel like it added a lot of weight to it, and it made me so curious as to as to is there some validity with all of this stuff, right? Because you're doubling down on yeah, you're doubling first, down, yeah, you're doubling down. You know this whole Weinstein accusations with the kids and yeah, man. You but know. but again, to and I think leaving that to thought. He kind of adds some credibility to it when he's like, "I've been in this industry twelve years. I'm gonna tell y'all one little secret. Like I, I'm telling y'all, like I've, I was almost like I've seen it. I've been around it. Yeah, there's some weird shit going on, and some of these artists be here to police it. I'm like, Ew. yeah, they've been streamlining victims all inside of their home and calling them Tinder. Now, of course, that goes <clears throat> back to, I think, some chick back in 21 or something like that. Yeah, caught like a live stream, like for exposing Drake's. He had an alleged private Tinder where he was like. Kind of streamlining shit going on in the crib, so I yeah, I, I yeah, mean, man. Listen, <clears throat> Drake has a lot of money, true, and we all know people a lot of people with a lot of money and a lot of freedom and a lot of access mm-hmm. and a lot of choices tend to get quote unquote bored. Yeah, so you got to find ways to create and keep things new and original. So. I don't yes. put any of this, like I'm not gonna sit here and say I'm gonna stamp it, right? But it it sounds like either Kendrick knows something, so, has right. seen, and has or has seen something, cause right? I wouldn't trust a mole at this point, but yeah, not at all. <sighs> yeah, he's warning, <laughs> he's warning LeBron and Curry. I wonder what they got to say, right? But let's keep let's see how that goes. Dear baby girl, I'm sorry that your father not active inside your world. He don't commit to much but his music, yeah, that's for sure. He a narcissist, misogynist, living inside his songs. Try to destroy families rather than taking care of his own. Should be teaching you timetables or watching Frozen with you. Or at your 11th birthday, singing poems with you. Instead, he being Turks, paying for sex and popping perks. Examples that you don't deserve. I want to tell you that you're loved, you're brave, you're kind. You got a gift to change the world and can change your father's mind. Because our children is the future, but he lives inside confusion. Money's always been illusion, but that's the life he's used to. His father probably didn't claim him neither. History do repeats itself, sometimes it don't need a reason. But I would like to say it's not your fault that he's hiding another child. Give him grace, this the reason I made Mr. Morale. So our babies like you can cope later. Give you some confidence to go through something, it's hope later. I never want to hear you chasing man, cause it's felt behavior. 
Sitting in the club with sugar daddies for validation You need to know that love is eternity and trumps all pain I tell you who your father is, just play this song when it rains Yes, he's a hit maker, songwriter, superstar, right? And the fucking dead beat that should never say more life Meet the grams Now we don't know if this, this person exists right. for sure, right? But Let's say for the sake of the verse that she does. Yeah, this angle just, it got, this got so dark. Like, he a narcissist, misogynist, living inside his songs. That's, that's visual. Trying to destroy families rather than taking care of his own. Should be teaching you times tables. I'm teaching my son times tables right now. Or watching like Frozen, Frozen with you. Frozen with you. Or at your 11th birthday. How old is this child? They said 11. They said the child's supposed to be 11. That old? Yeah. Gosh, damn. <laughs> yeah, instead of being Turks, paying for sex and popping perks, examples that you don't deserve. Son, I, listen. You got a gift to change the world and can change your father's mind. It really sounds like he wrote this right away. Because, Son. again, the rhyme schemes and the bars are not, they're not complex. Mm -hmm. It sounds like he he took a lot of people's advice that may have liked the Teddy, Petty, Teddy Pendergrass intro where mm -hmm. he was kind of slowly, you know, feeding us with the lines Listen. and was like, y'all want more of that? All right, here we go. But I'm going to add this this piano that's a little darker. That shit is very dark. Yeah. I mean, it sounds like a, a horror movie, which is, you know, what I like. Yeah. I kind of like it creepy. Yeah. I just don't... Um, I don't know. I don't know where this is where this is going. Right. right. This is this is the part that's you don't know. Like, cause our children is the future, but he lives inside confusion. Money's always been illusion, but that's the life he's used to. His father probably didn't claim him neither. Mm. History do repeats itself. Sometimes it don't need a reason. Mm. What? To yeah. say your father, his father didn't probably didn't claim him either. So don't feel bad because it's not it's it's repetitive. Like. Yeah. Oh my! Listen, man, this shit is. Yeah, man. I would say it's not your fault. He's hiding another child. Give him grace. This That's the reason, the reason I, I made, made Mr. Mr. Morale. Morale. And if you think about that album, like the body of work that it is, like, yeah. bro. Yeah, yeah. So our baby's like, you can cope later. Give him some confidence to go, go through, through something. something. There's hope later. There's hope later. I never want to hear you chasing man because his failed behavior. Sitting in the club with sugar daddies for validation, man. Yeah, you need to know that love is eternity and trumps all pain. I'll tell you who your father is. Just play this song when it rains. Yeah, wow. he's a hit maker, songwriter, superstar, right? And a fu and like all of these things can be true. Yeah. And a fucking deadbeat that should never say more life. Yeah, this this verse is where I really did not expect this song to go. Yeah. Um. I, I and I, I hate that I keep. I feel like I'm moving the goalposts a little bit by saying, "Yo, we wanted the scathing, we wanted the slow, mm -hmm. methodic mm -hmm. joint, and now we like, oh shit, this is uh, <laughs> well, a little, I didn't uncomfortable. Yeah. I didn't want you to kill everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Like, wanted like, to leave uh, a couple uh, of people alive. <laughs> uh, damn. Yeah. Yeah. I. I and I'll, again, I'm not. I'm not mad at it. I think. I just. One. I hope it's not saying. I hope it's true. But I hope that he can prove the angle. Like if you're gonna pick this angle and yeah. go this hard, it would be it would be really up, upsetting if none of this is real. But that's for both of them too. Like for the both whole of them. Yeah, yeah, for the for whole both of them. you beat on your queen situation. Like yeah, you gotta yeah, yeah, you can't yeah, yeah. make those kind of accusations and then not yeah. have some sort of something. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. The same I'm, thing like he mentioned in the song, you can't mention snitching and you saying you ain't got nothing right, you know what I mean. Right, 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 right. Yeah. So, I, I guess I was given yeah, I'm I'm giving this more credence because of the slow. It sound, yeah, it yeah, sounds so sounds purposeful and weird. like I didn't want to do this to you, but yeah, <laughs> it sounds like you took your time, got your information. Yeah, um, yeah. I, I do. I I mean, hey, listen, if as far as this records go, this feels like this feels like yeah, I, I'm picking you apart. Like yeah. this is this is a slow. This is Jason walking you down. Absolutely. In the forest, like yeah. you think you got away when you you yeah. drop family matters, and he is right on your heels, yeah. and he is and walking you down, going. and it keeps going. Yeah, he's still, like, he's right still going. Like, all right, you talk to his mom, you talk, talk to his dad, talk to his son, talk to his son, daughter, who you think? To his daughter. I'm like, all right, can I go now? Like, no, <laughs> no, not yet, <laughs> not yet. We gotta get to the heart of this matter. <laughs> 
dear hobby I know you probably thinking I wanted to crash your party But truthfully I don't have a hating bone in my body It's supposed to be a good exhibition within the game But you fucked up the moment you called out my family's name Why you had to stoop so low to discredit some decent people Guess integrity is lost when the metaphors doesn't reach you And I like to understand cause your house was never for a home 37 but you showing up as a 7 year old You got gambling problems, drinking problems, pill popping and spending problems Bad with money, whore house, soliciting women problems Therapy's a lovely start, but I suggest some ayahuasca Strip the ego from the bottom I try to empathize with you Cause I know that you ain't been through nothing Crave entitlement But wanna be like so bad that it's puzzling No dominance Let's recap moments when you didn't fit in No secret handshakes with your friend No culture cachet to binge Just disrespecting your mother Identities on the fence Don't know which family would love you The skin that you living in Is compromised and personas Can't channel your masculine Even when standing next to a woman You a body shamer You go hide them baby mamas ain't ya You embarrassed of them That's not right That ain't how mama raised us take that mask off i want to see what's under them achievements why well, believe you you never gave us nothing to believe in because you lied about religious views you lied about your surgery you lied about your accent and your past tense all is perjury you lied about your ghost riders you lied about your crew members they all pussy you lied on them i know they all got you in them you lied about your son you lied about your daughter huh you lied about them other kids that's out there hoping that you come you lied about the only artist that can offer you some help Fuck a rap battle. This is a long life battle with yourself. I want to point out that I had some mentions about his vocal inflections on um, Euphoria that I didn't love and some some accents and the way he kind of bent his words um, that you know weren't my favorite, even some repetition. Mm-hmm. I want to say that I love this version of Kendrick. I love when he... This inflection, yeah. when he adds that twinge, yeah. you lied about you. Yeah, Ooh. when you add, when he adds the twinge and the anger and a little Listen. bit of dy- dynamic the, volume to it, and, then the build. And, it, and you can hear the anger and Ooh. it builds and it builds. I love that part. Listen, we get an angry Kendrick now. That I love. I don't care if like you can repeat everything, but that delivery, man, I felt it. I felt that. Um. There, Aubrey. I know you're probably thinking I wanted to crash a party, but truthfully, I don't have a hating bone in my body. And then to say, this is supposed to be a good exhibition within the game. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is what this is supposed to start out as. Yeah. But you fucked up the <laughs> moment you called out my family's name. Like, once you went there, all yeah. bets was off, and now I got I to gotta do this to you. Yeah, this is the reason for the, Listen, for the pettiness. Why you, but then to say... I did. It's almost like I I didn't want to do it. So he said, "Why you had to stoop so low to dis- to discredit some good people?" Yeah. Like why why like what would make you do that? I mean, this is Listen. this is Drake, man. He's he's pettiness at his finest. But to say, um, you know, I, I like to understand because your house was never a home. So Crazy. we going back to that divided house, having mm-hmm. one parent here, the other parent here, thirty seven, but you're showing up as a seven year old. And that you know that's that second childhood, mm-hmm. the, the the not having syndrome that a lot of us you know have experienced where you, you want to buy everything, yeah, be a kid just, again, <laughs> yeah, or you just didn't you didn't fully grow, you didn't fully mature. That's true. So you exhibit childlike activities and and childlike mm-hmm. moves, and this is one of those situations where he's saying you're like you, we had an agreement, it's supposed to be this, and then you right. went back on your word. And now all this gambling problems, drinking problems, pill popping, and spending problems, I don't know. You got nothing to do with that. Yeah, I don't know where that <laughs> falls I got in. To do with that. Yeah, the whole house soliciting women, um, needing therapy and needing right. ayahuasca. Yeah. But to say I try to empathize with you because I know that you ain't been through nothing. That's mm-hmm. insane. Because, again, it strips you of that street credibility that you claim that you have. But, like, I, I feel like I empathize with because I, I know you haven't been through none of this. Like, I know that you constantly surround yourself with the people that you surround yourself with and you take pictures of the people you take pictures with because you want to put, like, create this facade yeah. of who you are. 
Yeah. And to say that, to say, I, I try to empathize with you because I know that you've never been through nothing. And to say that because he's been on the complete other side of it because he's grew up, he grown up in Compton. What, ha- so, what yeah. happened between Drake's run where Successful came out and his mother was 5'2", mm-hmm. crying on him, and we, we embraced his vulnerability, mm-hmm. we embraced his realness, we embraced the fact that we knew he was a Canadian, right. half Jewish, half black mm-hmm. actor, that became a rapper that if he wouldn't have signed with Wayne, none of this, none would, of this, exist, would, none right? of this would exist, right? Because that image was not going to translate to anything Mm-mm. that we would have accepted. Not here. No. no, not at that time. No. But at, at some point, he went from underdog, fan favorite, or at least somebody that mm-hmm. we could believe because his believability was high, right. to somebody that was like, I don't fuck with something like that. And then it went I, to yeah. another level. Right. Where his peers right. stopped fucking with something like that. Like, and I don't know when it happened. I don't know if... When all of them club albums start happening, I know the that Honestly Nevermind album was a whole nother feel to it. I know he kind of... I think after nothing was the same, when he went a different direction, Yeah, um, it kind of was poppy. He got um, away from the roots. He got away from yeah. the roots, got a little poppy, and I think once he got to a certain point doing certain features with certain people, and it seemed yeah. like only certain people, um, and it could just be the way he moves. Like, it could just yeah. be like, you know that, what I mean? That's people, what I'm getting at. You, you know what I mean? Like, it could you, just be... You do a whole album with Future. You got multiple hits with Ross. Right. You know, Weekend is pretty much introduced to you, whether you... And basically, was supposed to sign to OVO. Right. I mean... This is how this is how we know him, right. right? So all of these people from you know Metro, the people that you worked with, to, right? And all of a sudden, it's how do you like, get here? Like all yeah. of these people that were rooting for you to, to win from the start, yeah. Now it was like, nah, I don't fuck with something like that. Yeah, and and a lot of it has to do with women. So I'm, yeah, because again, he mentions that a lot. Like when he talking about weekend or you know, John Moran, Abel, yeah. John Moran, you know, that's yeah. always about a chick, and apparently that seems to be the problem. Like whether it's a underage chick or you know whatever it is yeah. like and it seems like a, he has a pattern of fucking with chicks that his people used to hate like used seems to like or that's still. a pattern like or you still. know what I mean like yeah. that's that's a and wild. again I, that speaks to the boredom because I know a lot of people <laughs> I know people back in the days that I would hear stories about guys with money fame that would want to see if you bring your girl around mm. if they could get her and that boredom you know, he may be one of those guys that's like, oh, that's your, that's your girl? She's nice. Like, I might even want her, but let me see. Yeah, you know? I mean. And I'm just throwing that out there. Right. But I'm just, like, curious, so. But, yeah, every, every, I feel like in these type of situations, everybody can't be wrong. Like, everybody else that, can't again, be the issue. That's another thing. You know what I mean? That's another thing. Um, So when the, when it when it picks up and when it heats up um, and his voice changes – and he goes into the whole body shame on you gonna hide them baby mamas, you embarrassed of them, that's not right. Oh, that ain't how your mama no, 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 raises. No, no, no. I Wait, skip before, something. Yeah, before you go there. Okay. That no dominance, let's recap moments when you didn't fit in, no secret handshakes with your friend. Yeah. No cultural cachet to binge. This just disrespecting your mother. Identities, Identities on, on the, the fence. fence. Don't know which family will love oh, you. Oh, yeah, that's crazy. I said that's crazy. I'm like, yo, you look that's it. That's crazy. That's way too far yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. this is stop the fight right here. Yeah. Like yeah. identities on the fence. You don't know which family will love you, yeah, son. And, and because he spoke so much about growing up with his with his mom, uh-huh. and his uncle, and and given given so much information and background information on those times, yeah, that we know that's where you that's that, where you were raised. That's where you were raised. You were right. There, it, and that's the thing. There's a difference between being half white, half black. That's not the problem. No, and and, and not, not that and not any yeah. of it is a problem. Yeah, but when you have that split household and it's not raised in the same household and you Correct. grew up with just the white side yeah. and you grew up in Canada. Yeah. That kind of puts a little bit of a chink in your armor where people are like, okay, you from Canada. And not to say, I don't say real things don't happen in Toronto or whatever the case yeah. may be. Because yeah. there's gangsters and killers everywhere. They are. But, but you ain't experienced You ain't experienced that. that. <laughs> like, and that's the thing. That's the thing. So we that's, knew that, right? Coming in, and that's like he got away from that. He, he got, got he away got, from it. He got successful, and yeah. then took off and had another lane where it was, you can't do what I do. I'm this big super mega star, and it was almost like he started talking down to people. Like if you think about like a lot of these records, once you get to like 
when you get past nothing was the same and you get to um like all them wild certified albums Lover sticky Boy and certified lover boy yeah. and all like all of them kind of shits like it's like I were, okay I'm at a level that y'all can't see right now yeah and it almost sounds like with these people that probably ain't in the same position that they were in when you got on yeah it's almost like you're looking down on them now yeah he so, really thinks he's Mike yeah yeah and he constantly says that I'm one away from Michael nigga beat it like you you feel like you've gotten yourself to a point where you 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 are the game or you're bigger than the game so motherfuckers probably like man. This ain't the same dude that was talking about I just want to be successful, you know, 12, right. 13 years ago. I feel like he needs to hire bodyguards. Something. On bodyguards. <laughs> like, because you got lawyers watching lawyers. You're going to need security watching well, security. security watching security. Because I don't feel like you can go anywhere. Listen. That's just me. I'm just, you know, I'm just. The skin that you're like living that. in is compromised in personas. That's, like, what? Several of them. That's the thing. That's crazy. Man. That's crazy. You embarrassed of them. That's not right. That ain't how mama raised you. How you gonna hide them baby mamas, ain't you? More than one. So I mean, to say you can't channel your masculine even when standing next to a woman. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's uh, all the the, the nice. way he talks about him lying, a lot about your accent, a lot about your past tense, all this perjury. You lied about your ghost riders, a lot about your crew members. They all pussy. You lied on them. I know they go they all got, got you with them. You win them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. But to say take that mask off, I want to see what's under them achievements is crazy. That is that's crazy. That's the line that that's like that's the that's the that sums up everything. Take that mask off. I want to see what's under everything. all them achievements, all of that. Yeah, million soul and planes and all of yeah, these achievements yeah, yeah. that you got. Take that mask. Off. I want to see what's under that. Yeah, this man. Out of all the songs, this one could have been a TED talk. Yeah. It could have. He could have stood up in front of people and just delivered this a cappella with a teleprompter, and everybody would have been like, "Holy shit!" People would people probably would have left crying. Yeah, <laughs> uh, honestly, I, I feel like you know because we we weren't as you know bopping and as entertaining, right. but we still are sitting here like, like, "Yo, this is this is this is it's piercing." Like yeah, this is yeah. Listen, this is the emperor has no clothes. Yeah, this is. Like this is it. I don't yeah. even know how you and I'm not and not that you he should have to come back or anything like that, but it's almost like again the angles that they chose. It's only it's only so many times you can tell me how short he is. It's only so many times you yeah. can tell me, oh such a I'll fuck this bitch or somebody. Like it's only yeah, so many times you can yeah. tell me that. But to attack a person's like their their being, yeah, and like to tell you who you are, like you you a piece of shit father, you like. Yeah. You, you like that shit is crazy. You're not present. You should be teaching your daughter timetables. Your son is this. Like this shit is beyond. This shit be beyond this. And this shit is like yo. You're a horrible person. And I want to tell everybody around you. You should die. That you should die. Jesus Christ, son. Yeah. All right. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah. Meet the Grams. Um. Yeah. Scathing. Fuck a rap battle. This is a long battle with yourself. Yeah, you felt that at the end. Really? It felt it felt like this guy needs to take a look in the mirror. Yeah, he needs to. Um Jesus. Christ. I don't I don't know where this is gonna go next, but there's more songs, so Yeah. Apparently stay tuned. So. Stay tuned. <laughs> stay tuned. Take no balls off. <laughs> take no balls off.